strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Kick Pack Zone. And now, here's our host, Jim Caldwell. Oh boy, thank you. Nice to have you here in the studio audience, and welcome to another edition of Tic Tac Doe. Our current champion is a great player. He won a brand new car on our last show, and, uh, well, he's just met his latest challenger, but they haven't started a game yet. Let's bring out our players. Charlie? Jim, our current champion, is a painter whose interests include juggling and doing impressions. His winnings total in cash and prizes, $24,000, Meet Wire Brown. And his opponent, recently graduated from college, and her interest includes skiing and travel, meet Laurie Bell. Good to have you back on the show today. Good to be back. You just graduated from college, right? Yes, last month from Cal State Fullerton. And you plan to go to graduate school? Maybe. I'm taking a little bit of time off right now working and maybe going on. Well, good luck. Thank you. And good luck here as you start a brand new game with a champion who's playing very well. Thank you, Jim. You've been hanging in there, I guess one well, might say, huh, Dwyer? My little claws, yeah. What are you going to do with your winnings? Any plans? Well, I've always uh, wanted to buy a house. Uh, maybe this will give me a start or something. This might be one heck of a start. $24,000 is a great down payment. Good luck. Let's start a game. Wire Brown and Lori Bell. All right. Here we go. Nine categories. They are... Fads and Follies, Trivia Dare, Art, Comic Strips, Royalty, It's a Dilemma, Movies, Number Please, About Words, Red Boxes, Special Categories, and let's get to it. Dwyer, where would you like to go first? I think I'll stick with my luck and take uh, Royalty in the center. All right, Dwyer, two-part question. You'll have some extra time. When the Spanish conquistador Cortez first arrived in Mexico in 1519, this Indian emperor greeted the Spaniards with gifts. Two years later, however, Cortez and his men attacked. The emperor was killed and his empire destroyed. Number one, name that Indian emperor. And two, name the civilization he ruled. Here's your extra time. <laughs> When the Spanish conquistador Cortez first arrived in Mexico in 1519, this Indian emperor greeted the Spaniards with gifts. Two years later, however, Cortez and his men attacked. The emperor was killed and his empire destroyed. Number one, name that Indian emperor. Monteveo. Mm. Half there, Montezuma. And of course, the civilization he ruled, the Aztecs. Can't give you the box. Let's shuffle. <laughs> And, Lori, where would you like to go first? I'll take comic strips in the center, please. You want to try to get that center box, huh? Okay, you'll have some extra time here. Since it first appeared in 1951, Dennis the Menace had been one of the most popular comic strips in the world. I'll describe two characters from the strip. You name them. Number one, name the red-headed girl who's always annoying Dennis. And also, name Dennis's dog who's terrified of cats. Here's your extra time. <laughs> Since it first appeared in 1951, Dennis the Menace has been one of the most popular comic strips in the world. Number one, name the red-headed girl who's always annoying Dennis. Margaret. Margaret is right. Number two, name Dennis's dog who's terrified of cats. Ruff. Ruff is right. You have the center box. Here we We're going to come back and continue after this. Stay with us. Welcome to the big league. R.I.P.D. Dwyer Brown's the champion, and his challenger is Lori Bell. And they've just started a game. $300 in the pot. Let's shuffle. <laughs> Dwyer, it's your turn. I'm going to go to movies in the bottom right, please. Dwyer, take a look at this picture. These were two of the stars of the hit 1986 release, Hannah and Her Sisters. Name one of the actors. Mia Farrow? Mia Farrow is one, and Woody Allen's the other. You have the box. Good to you, Dwyer. Very popular movie. Let's put an X in the board, bottom right-hand corner. $500 plot. Let's shuffle. Lori, what's next? I'll try comic strips again. All right, you had success last time. Here's the question. This popular comic strip details the day-to-day -day life of three young career women who share an apartment. Luann is a teacher. 
Tommy is a nurse and Margot is a secretary. The strip is named after the apartment they share. What is their apartment number? 202. <laughs> nope. 3G. 3G. Apartment 3G. Box remains unclaimed. Let's shuffle. $500 pot. Dwyer. I'll take uh, comic strips on the right, please. All right, you get it this time. Here's the question. Since Little Orphan Annie made her first appearance in 1924, she has been accompanied on her adventures by her faithful dog. Name that dog. Sandy. That's right. Yeah. Sandy's the dog. Get, get it on. Comic strips gets an X. $700 now in the pod. Let's shuffle. Lori. It's a dilemma to block. You're going for a block, Lori. Dwyer, if you get this box, you'll win your sixth game of tic-tac-dough. Here's your opening clue, Lori. The plant from which this beverage is made originally grew wild only in Ethiopia and was made into food, wine, and medicine. We're looking for the name of that beverage. Now, here's your dilemma, Lori. I have five more clues here. You have to decide how many more clues you think are needed to answer the question, and then Dwyer will decide whether he answers it or you answer it. How many more clues? I'll take two. All right, two additional clues. Dwyer, do you want to answer this question with two more clues or have Lori answer it? Remember, a right answer from you and you'll win the game. I'll answer it, Jim. All right, Dwyer, here are your two additional clues. Number one, the average American consumes more than 10 pounds a year. Number two, a 17th century pope baptized this beverage, overruling priests who considered it an invention of the devil for the game, and a grand total now of $24,900. Name that beverage. Coca-Cola? No, coffee. Lori, you have a block. <laughs> Dwyer, if I was to say that this beverage contains caffeine, what would you might have said coffee? I huh? might have said coffee. I don't about that. I have to work on that. <laughs> Good strategy, Lori. You handed it over to him, and you ended up with a box and the block. $900 pot. Let's shuffle. Dwyer, it's your turn. I think I'll have to take fads and follies for the block. Fads and follies it is. And for a block. During the late 1970s, Dwyer, this craze had highway drivers talking to total strangers, warning their good buddies about Smokey the Bear on their CB radios. For a block. What do the initials CB stand for? Uh, compact breaker. No, Citizens Band. That box remains unclaimed. Let's shuffle. Lori. Trivia dare for the win. All right, Lori, you'll become our new champion if you get the box. Dwyer, you want it for a block. Now, I'll read this question to you, Lori, then you decide whether you'll answer it first or dare Dwyer to answer first. Listen carefully. This American president was capable of writing in Greek with his right hand while writing simultaneously in Latin with his left hand. Was he James Garfield, Thomas Jefferson, or Woodrow Wilson. What are you going to do, Lori? Answer or dare? I'm going to answer. You're going for the answer, and you're going for the game. Was he James Garfield, Thomas Jefferson, or Woodrow Wilson? Wilson? No. Dwyer, you can still get a block. Was it James Garfield or Thomas Jefferson? I'll have to say Thomas Jefferson. No. James Garfield. The box is still unclaimed. $900 pot. At this critical point, we're going to stop and come back and continue after this. Name one word to describe Steve Harvey. Rich. Fun. Ball. Back to you, Jim. Thanks, Charlie. Dwyer and Lori are in the middle of a game. We have a $900 pot, and let's shuffle those categories. All right, Dwyer. I'm going to have to go for uh, fads and follies for the block again. Okay, Dwyer. In 1975, Gary Dahl was selling more than 100,000 of these items a day for $4 each. They came in a box with a leash, even though they were inanimate objects for the block. Name that unusual fad pet. Pet Rock? Pet Rock is right. You have a block. Put an X on the board. 
$1,100 bond. Let's shuffle with four boxes remaining. Lori. Comet strips for the block, please. Okay, Lori, see if you can block Dwyer this time. This comic strip kingdom is ruled by a midget of a monarch and is populated with such characters as a drunken jester named Bung and a cowardly knight named Rodney. For a block, name that kingdom. The Wizard of Id? That's right, Good. Id. Well, that is right. Put a no on the board. For a block, $1,300 pot. Let's shuffle. <laughs> All right, Dwyer. I'll have to go on top for art for the block. Okay, blocking back and forth. Here's another attempt. This artist named Alexander was one of the first American sculptors to win international fame. He is best known for his delicate mobiles, which may weigh thousands of pounds, but can still be moved by just a breath of wind. For a block, give me that artist's last name. Johnson. No, Alexander Calder. Box remains unclaimed for now. Let's shuffle. $1,300 pot. Lori. About words for the win? All right, Lori. If you can answer this question, you will become our new champion. Now listen carefully. This word, which describes the plan a family or business makes to keep track of their income and expenses, takes its name from the Latin for leather bag in which merchants often carried their money for the game and a grand total of one thousand five hundred dollars what is that word budget that's right you win Congratulations, Lori. What are you saying over there to each other? <laughs> I need this money. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, you just picked up lots of money. Vertical tic-tac-dough, you just won $1,500 in cash. Congratulations, Lori. Thank you. You'll have an opportunity to address your, your strategy when you take on the dragon in just one second. But first, hey, Dwyer, you're quite a champion. Believe that. <laughs> Thank you very much. You've really been a lot of fun. Now, let me think. You principally paint pottery with some kind of stuff. A lot of peas involved, right? Yes, a lot of peas. Well, now you're going to be, do be doing lots of things because I'm, not only have you picked up a car, I know a couple of trips, some terrific prizes, Dwyer. You leave us cash and prizes totaling an even $24,000. Best of luck to you, Dwyer. Good luck. All right. It's time for us to take a break and watch Lori in one moment. Stay with us. Welcome to Gino's Win, your wish is hosted by celebrity chef Gino DeCampo. <laughs> it's the game show where the players choose the prizes. Wow, wow, wow. Amazing prizes. But they'll have to stay in the green oh, whoa, 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 to win their dream. Gino keeps contestants on their toes. You need my balls to play. As they race to the finish. Yeah. Gino's Win Your Wish List premieres tonight at 8, only on Game TV. Introducing new and improved finishing touch flawless brows. Instant. All right, welcome back. You know, before I go any further, I want to mention one thing. This is the last show of the season, and uh, during the upcoming weeks, you're going to be seeing some of the choice shows of the past year, and uh, we'll be looking forward to that, I know. But first, we got some order, some business to do right now, right? Lori, you would like to come over and play the bonus game. I right? sure would. Come on over and face the drive. You can kind of relax yes. and kind of think about mm -hmm. your strategy because okay. the dragon's going to be hiding mm -hmm. around here somewhere, isn't he? Yes. I'll remind you that behind these numbers are various amounts of money. There's a tick, there's a tack, and good old dragon. Yes. I always call him the good old dragon. I guess he's a bad, bad old, old dragon. dragon. <laughs> right? You want to get $1,000 or more mm -hmm. or the tick and the tack, and you'll win this terrific prize package. Charlie, tell him. Lori, each of these sparkling prizes will set your eyes gleaming. First, Lori, you'll sparkle wearing this gold-filled jewelry. Thane Crafts jewelry creations designed with classic beauty reflecting the harmony of elegance and style. A handsome and unique original Primavera collection from Dane Craft. Then your kitchen will glow with the addition of this shining steel cookware. Incore cookware features exclusive multi-core, five-ply construction, minimum moisture cooking, and gentle, even heat distribution. Crafted of gleaming stainless steel from Incore. 
Next, from overhead, will hang this burnished brass ceiling fan. The Hunter Original Fan, a ceiling fan designed with classic styling in bright brass with 52-inch diameter blades. Built in Memphis, Tennessee by Hunter for 100 years. And finally, Laurie, you'll enjoy the spectacle of golden sunrises gleaming across the Caribbean waters as you vacation in carefree Curacao. Largest of the Netherlands Antilles, Curacao lies just off South America, combining quaint Dutch architecture with a colorful Caribbean character. Enjoy swimming and diving among coral reefs and sunken ships, and visit the famed floating market. We'll fly you to Miami via Continental Airlines, flying to over 70 cities, featuring the wide-bodied in-flight lounge, the pub. Enjoy the comfort, style, and friendly service of a truly continental carrier. You'll have round-trip airfare from Miami to Curacao, via ALM Antillian Airlines, the friendly airline of the Dutch Caribbean. ALM Antillian Airlines. While there, you'll have eight days and seven nights at the Las Palmas Hotel and vacation villas in sunny Curacao. The friendly Caribbean vacation resort for everyone. Couples, singles, honeymooners, families. This gleaming package is worth, in cash and prizes, over $4,450. Like to go to Curacao. I'd love to, love to travel. Good for you. Well, you gotta beat the dragon to get that prize, and okay. let's move him around. He's gonna find a place to hide. Would you like to have some help from the audience out here? I'd love to. All right, let's see some numbers out there. What's coming up first? Well, actually, I talked to my mom this morning, and she said two. Your mom suggested two? Yes. All right, out of the box. Here we go. Number two comes tick. Lucky number seven's been lucky for a lot of people. Here it is. $100. All right, you need $900 or a tag. I'm seeing nine. Number nine. Okay, you need 900 What's behind number nine? 500 Whoa. Now you're looking for $400 or a tag. Number one. One. Okay, top left-hand corner, number one. Dragon was hiding. You missed him. He was at number three. Good job is right. Well, you just picked up a thousand dollars, a terrific prize package, including that trip to Curacao. Your total in cash and prizes stands at fifty nine hundred and fifty dollars. All right, five thousand nine fifty is terrific. We're gonna come back and continue after this. Don't go away. All the wonderful weirdness comes to its dramatic conclusion as Robo Bunny, Panda, and Mushroom are all unmasked. It's the season finale. Only one of them could be crowned 2022 Masked Singer Champion. All will be revealed. The Masked Singer UK season finale. Sunday at 7.30, only on Game TV. All right, welcome back. Well, Lori Bell, first time out, 100% batting average. You beat the Dragon, and your winnings total $5,950. Thank you. Yeah, we're proud of you. Well, you know, as I mentioned to you earlier, lawyer, uh, this is the last show of our season. And uh, during the upcoming weeks, you're going to be seeing some of the choice shows of this past season. As a matter of fact, before we go, we have some extra time. And because there's been such incredible interest in this one gentleman, I'd like to show you some of the highlights of television's highest money winner on any show ever, Lieutenant Tom McKee. Take a look. You played 88 games. You missed 32 questions all total out of 385, and you were on, as I mentioned, 46 shows. Ladies and gentlemen, that is quite an accomplishment, is it not?
you're already in the Guinness Book of World Records, and uh, you sort of set a hallmark for uh, contestants to follow on this show and all other game shows, Tom. You have done what nobody else has ever been able to do on any game show, and that is win all this money and, and all of these prizes, and uh, you've conducted your well, yourself marvelously, and I'm sure that you've had a lot of fans at home watching Tic Tac Toe, as well as the audiences who have seen you uh, do your thing here on our show. And to you and Jenny, uh, you both celebrated recently your first wedding anniversary. May I wish you both the very best. Godspeed. Spend it wisely and well. And here's to years of happiness to you both. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Tom. Tom received a medical discharge from the Navy and now resides in Georgia with his wife, Jenny, and their new son. And, well, you know, i got to say, it's been a great pleasure being the host of Tic Tac Doe this year. And on behalf of all of us here at Tic Tac Doe and and, well, just for everybody, I'd like to thank you for being a loyal viewing audience. And, uh, hey, I'm Jim Caldwell. Goodbye, everybody. Some of our departing contestants will receive Bonine, whether you go by car, plane, boat, or train. Bonine provides you with safe and effective 24 hour travel sickness protection. And the more you hear, the more you read, the more you ask your doctor, you know why Bayer is the wonder drug that works wonders. It's plumbing. For hair clogs at their worst. Oh, it's for you. Liquid Plumber is the plumber to call first. Tic-Tac-Doe is a Jack Barry and Dan and Wright production.